Brennan. And it deflected off Lawrenson from Brennan's shot. It's certainly worth backing your luck down the wind. And it's very unpleasant down at pitch level. Butcher has loped up to add his height behind Davre and Dezel. And Cranston comes in as well, fisted out by Grovela, and he got good distance to the punch. Approaching 300 consecutive games for Liverpool. Quite a run in a pressure-filled position. And Grovela comes again, and he's lost it. And got it. This time, his impulsive nature got the better of him. Tremendous distance from the throw from Cranston. And Grobelar got underneath it, and it wouldn't quite fall for Davre. screening it and Dazelle it needed to be held by Grobola Dazelle who started it with the initial touch that Davre held up for him and the shot was well controlled so too was the save Mulby Lawrenson and the call with too much strength for Walsh but strength applied unfairly Steve McCall, known as Grimm in the Ipswich dressing room. Not a smiling character, but a stern defender as he and his teammates have to be at this Liverpool free kick with nine minutes of the first half remaining. It's Whelan coming in. The header is perfect. Ronnie Whelan for Liverpool. The travelling support show their appreciation of Whelan's execution of the header and Mulby's free kick, which picked him out. There was no chance for Cooper. Ipswich nil, Liverpool won. Cockney wanting to use his right foot all the time and slowing the impetus of that particular move. More direct this time, and Gillespie taking a ride on the back of Davre. And I think Gary Gillespie is finding that it is a free kick given against him. Ipswich were quite happy just to take the throw. But they now have possibly a chance to strike back. Jason Dazelle over the ball. Grobola anxious to get the wall covering his right-hand post. Sondervan over it, and it's Yallop who strikes it, pushed out, and is it over the line? Grobola made the save from Cranston, no goal. But mighty close to one. It was the free kick in front of the Liverpool goal that caused all the problems. It was set up for Yallop. Grobola could only push it out as far as Cranston. And he just managed, although his body went over the line, to prevent the ball crossing it. It's the signal just five minutes into the second half for Michael Cole to replace Frank Yallop. Reach Cole and Putney. Click back by Brennan. 
And at the moment, Liverpool rather pen back. Zondervan, who's more naturally suited to that role wide on the right in midfield. Davre coming in. It's a splendid goal. A real striker goal from Mitch Davre. In such a level. And Davre, who scored the winning goal the last time for Ipswich beat Liverpool, which was back in 1982, finds a way past Grubbelar again. In the ninth minute of the second half. Ipswich won, Liverpool won. Which finding a goal at a time when Liverpool had certainly dropped a gear. The arrival of Michael Cole has added another option to the Ipswich play as well. Hansen. Here's Lawrenson. able to judge McCall's intentions. There's more to offer from Ipswich Town on the break. With the stimulus of a goal, and Cole, faced by Gillespie, and denied only by Grobelar. An inspired effort from the substitute. The teenage Londoner waited and waited until the moment was right to strike and Grobelar at full stretch what a difference a goal makes Zondervan Liverpool having problems clearing the corner and Zondervan just leaning back as he struck it. Well, what was a rather one-sided first half is developing here into a compelling match. It's unlike Liverpool to be guilty of overconfidence, but their play in the opening 10 minutes of the second half certainly smacked of that. I know they're in a match now. Whelan. This is Walsh. And Johnston has pulled away from the call. He applauds the quality in the cross. The call there was beaten, but Johnston couldn't hit the target. And he'll be disappointed. He was unmarked. Kenny Dalglish, I think, about to make a substitution. John Walk taking off the tracksuit top, and getting the uh, tie ups on. Lawrence. Doing the chasing and making the tackle. 
Cole. Certainly praise to Ipswich, particularly for Jason Dezel, who won the ball initially to set up Cole. But Liverpool, it's as though the blood has drained from them in the second half. Rubla has had a very busy time, and the crowd now give a hostile welcome to their former hero. Craig Johnston comes off to be replaced by John Walk. Lee. And here's McCall. Cole. Does Al ahead of him? Wilson to his left, and Davray waiting for the cross. But mistiming his run. Zondervan, Brennan. And it's Nichols' mistake that might let in Wilson. And has let in Wilson. He's barely had a sight of goal in the 79 minutes we've played the Ipswich top scorer, but Kevin Wilson is on target.